Hunter Valley, birthplace of Australian wines and only two hours north of Sydney. Today we travel to the Hunter for a boutique wine festival. Picture this, rolling vineyards, delicious wines, gourmet food, artisan markets and even a fragrant lavender farm. But here's the twist. Not everything goes according to plan. They're closed. Oh. Are you kidding me? Hi, I'm Lydia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Roving Valleys. We're currently at the Hunter Valley. We're going to head today to the little town of Roke, which is a very small little town. It has some little boutique vineyards around. We're going to taste a little bit of Broke today. It's a festival. And we'll go and try some of the wines from the various little vineyards. So why don't you come roving with us? We'll see you soon. This morning, we are driving up the freeway to the Hunter Valley and passing through the capital of wine country, Pecolburn. We pass through Pecolburn and on the way there's a couple of markets on this weekend. So they have them on a Saturday and there's some at D Boltoli and there's also some at the Sobel House. So we're going to go and stop in and have a look at them and show you around. The Hunter Valley is Australia's oldest wine producing region and also the largest. It has over 150 wineries. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Hazelnut, praline. Brilliant. Okay. Yummy. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have a look at the markets. No thanks. But you're shopping. <laughs> so I did some damage at the markets. I bought myself a new, oh it's not a double-sided one but it's a hand tea towel from the, for the kitchen door because you always wash your hands after washing the dishes and I love to have one of these hanging by the door. My nan used to make them for me but my nan's not here anymore so this is the first one I've bought since she's been gone a few years now so um I had to buy a new one but I like the colours. It reminds me of Minnie Mouse, which is cute. And actually goes with my dress today. <laughs> and uh, I also bought some lovely little earrings. So they were $12. And I think the towel was also $12. So they're my little earrings. They're lightweight. They're just made of an acrylic. So they look nice. And um, I think this was $12 too. So overall, I'm happy with my shopping. And I may have bought a free end as well, which was delicious. So off to the next place, see what we can see. This one looks a bit bigger than the other one. I can spend more money. No. <laughs> oh, the doggies are out for a play. markets at the Sabelle Winery and it's all local artists and everything's handmade here it's fabulous definitely worth coming to check out they're here every Saturday so uh, come along and check it out I eventually persuaded Lydia to leave the markets Colburn may have the highest concentration of wineries in the region but today we are taking a different path our destination is the tiny village of Broke just 18 kilometers down the road, but truly a road less traveled. Set against the picturesque backdrop of the Broken Back mountain range, 
broke may be smaller and less known than its prominent neighbour, but it has its own charm and hidden treasures. We are travelling to Broke for an annual festival called A Little Bit of Broke, which showcases all the wine, food and produce that the region has to offer. So this is Broke, ladies and gentlemen. It isn't very big. I think there's only a couple of hundred people live here. I don't know if this camera is doing this mountain in the background justice, but it looks so pretty. It's an overcast day today. Temperature is currently 23 degrees Celsius, which is probably the perfect temperature for coming up to the Hunter Valley. Where do we go to get the tickets? We purchased tickets from the lovely ladies at the Festival Hub, set up in the local park. They gave us each a wine glass, four wine tasting tickets and a map showing the location of all the participating wineries. So we're at Windmark Wines now, the first vineyard that we're visiting. We're going to have lunch here as well, so we've bought our four tasting each. They did have an early bird special but we weren't early birds so the early bird special was $35 for four tokens and now it's $50 for four tokens. So and each, each token gets us a taster glass of wine, but we can buy extra tokens if we go through all our tokens, but I think if we share our tastes, yeah. we get eight tastes between us, so I think that should be enough, especially as I'm driving. Yeah, so it's perfect. Very seamless, easy to get tickets, you don't need to pre-buy it unless you want to save some money, then you can wait till the day to see if the weather's any good. what to have for lunch. Where's the menu? Okay. Yeah, charcuterie board. Sounds good to me. I like a good charcuterie board. There is a little bus apparently that takes people around, like a little mini bus. So if you're staying here, you can have some more drinks and it can drive you around. Okay. Um, because we're driving, we'll have to sort of limit what we have. But um, get a bit of a, a good taste of it anyway, I think. Cheers. So you've got some gluten-free biscuits. Charcoal cookies. They taste good. I've got some nice bread and breadsticks. Mmm, that charcuterie board really hit the spot. Let's check the wine trail map to see where we should go next. After lunch at Windmark Wines, it only seems fair that we visit their neighbour, Greenaway Wines, next. On the voucher tally board, we still have our full complement of four vouchers each, as we paid for our lovely glass of Chardonnay at lunch. Thank you. Um, we've got the Pinot and I've got the... I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> yeah, it's called a Fiano. It's a Italian blend, isn't it? I haven't it? tried that before. That's the piano that you just yep. sipped, and what did you think of that? Oh, yeah, it's not bad. It's easy drinking. It's a nice amount I'll compare the two. Okay. I think I prefer that one. The, the Pinot Grigio? Mm. Okay, so this is the piano. I feel like you're going to say Fiona when you say that. Fiona. Mm. It's quite fruity. Mm. Need a glass of water, water in between. Drinks. Yeah. Mm. 
I think I prefer the piano. Do you? That's interesting. Um, although I'm not a big fan of either, <laughs> to be honest. Um, not that their wine's bad, just that the that Do you like wine. I, I prefer a red wine, a nice, strong, deep red wine. Although I do like a Simeon. The Hunter Valley is uh, actually famous for its Simeons and its, and its Shirazes as well. And Chardonnays. And Chardonnays. Uh, it's a sparkling Merlot. They call it Bubbles. <laughs> yeah, and that's a Shiraz. Oh, I love the, the aroma. The aroma of it, it's beautiful. I think that would age well. So that was a beautiful location, really pretty spot. Not our favourite, if we're being honest. They're not our favourite wines, but everyone's got different tastes. You know, we've all got different palettes. And um, yeah, so I definitely think it's worth coming to try and see what you think for yourself. Mm -hmm. As we move on to our next winery, let's update our voucher tally board. Lydia and I each tried both a red and a white at Greenway Wines, but happily that only cost us one voucher each. Next stop is Crinklewood Estate at the southern end of the festival. Okay, so we're looking out for Crinklewood, are we? Crinklewood is a nice sounding name. There we go. There's the shuttle bus, if you wanted to stay here and get driven around, shuttled around for the day, there's a, a bus that will take you and drop you from winery to winery, which is handy, then you can drink as much wine as you want. You got the tokens, let's go grab some wine. So this is your favourite wine so far? And, and it's favourite place now because they've got a dog. So what was your favourite, the, the Shiraz or the Rosé? 
They're both nice. They're actually both really nice wines. Favourite of the day so far. Both. Okay. So they've got no preservative, no sulfites. It's all grown organically with no other chemicals and things. And so if you react to wine, I react to red wine. You'll find, well, I find I don't react when it's organic because of the salt. There's no sulfides in it. So it's a really good option if you find you can't tolerate a lot of wines. And this is lovely. <laughs> Back in the car again. Heading to the next winery. After tasting a lovely earthy Shiraz and a light fruity rosé at Crinklewood Estate, we each used up one tasting voucher. By this time in the afternoon, we felt like changing things up a bit. So when we saw that there was a honey wine vendor on the map, our curiosity got the better of us and we headed off to see what a honey wine tastes like. It says honey wine, so honey I wine, guess okay. it's a honey vineyard. Good right. it? Honey no, wine we've got a, a tasting of different flavours. Traditional peach and passion, no, sorry. Traditional Turkish delight, cherry coconut, apple, miller bean and lemon. lemon. I'm going to try. I'll go first. Okay, you'll go. What was that one? That was the plane. The plane? Mm -hmm. Let's try the plane. Thank you very much, that's great. Peach and passion fruit. Alright. Oh, that smells um, caramelly. Mm. You can taste the um, peach. It would taste strong. I've never, I've yet to get honey from this location. Basically, I did not like that. <laughs> no, that wasn't that my favourite. That's like medicine. <laughs> I had honey mead in my tea, and I'm sorry because I'm sure the guy wants to sell lots of honey mead, but it was not very nice. The, uh, one. No, I don't know. That that was honey wine. I don't know whether that was the same as the honey mead. No, I that don't we think had that's at the, true at honey mead. Um, certainly nothing like what we had in Mudgee. It was Mudgy more. Was, it was more like a liqueur. It was, and yeah, with flavourings. Couldn't finish it. Couldn't finish it, but everyone again has different taste buds, but mine said no. <laughs> Well, let's go. Let's finish it off on a high note. I think so. We've got two two tokens left. I yeah. think we'll go to Margan Wine. We'll and then there's a Lavender House, which I'd love to go to Lavender House because I love lavender. So we, maybe we go to the Lavender House first. You heard the lady. Let's go to the Lavender Farm. After all, we each only have one more wine tasting voucher left after using one for our honey wine. What is it about lavender that you like? I don't know. I think when I was a little girl, we used to go to the Easter show and I always got the Lavender House box. And it, maybe it just brings me back to my childhood and and it's um, a nice smell, it's calming, relaxing. Yeah, I just like it. Okay. You can smell the lavender. <laughs> Chris just noticed that there looks like there's coloured roofed beehives down there, but they right need at the far end to pollinate the flowers, and then the flowers could keep the bees happy, and then they make lovely lavender honey. So everybody's happy. And I did notice lavender flavoured gelato. <laughs> Excellent. So how did you go? I uh, did some damage. So I got an eye mask and some soap 
And some honey. And some Sense ice cream ice by cream. the looks of it. Yeah. You can't go anywhere without getting your ice cream. <laughs> We're at Margan Winery now, which is one of our favourites. Um, we've been here before and they do a lovely Shiraz. We chose the best, in our opinion, for last. We haven't tried all the vineyards today, but that would be pretty hard to do in a day, especially when we came up for, from about 11.30s. We've got two tokens left and we're each going to get a glass of wine. Oh. Are you kidding me? Well, that was a failure. <laughs> They're closed for an event. They're having a wedding reception, so they've closed early. And we can't go to Margan, so we're going to hightail it out of here. Uh, see if there's anything else open, because we've still got two tokens left. Um, and we don't want to okay, not use them. Okay, just across the road. So let's All right, we're going there. to 1813. Cross <laughs> our fingers, they're open. <laughs> A few moments later. So 1813 was closed as well. And so was another one that we went to see. It was four o'clock. It was four o'clock. They've advertised that they'll be open till five. So that was a little disappointing. Anyway, we went back to the ticket house and we asked what vineyards were still open and they rang around and they found this one's open till five. So we're going to get in. So what's this one called? Close. Whispering Brook. Whispering Brook. So good on your Whispering Brook. You've stayed open until the advertised time. So We're hopefully you've got really wine. nice wine. So yep. let's go and taste. Thankfully, Whispering Brook Winery was indeed open and we were able to cash in the last of our wine tasting vouchers. The team at Whispering Brook was so nice and helpful that we even decided to splurge on an extra wine tasting of Portuguese wines. It's lovely here. So we've got three different types of wine and chocolate pan to go with the wine. So we've got a white, a red and then a tawny. And it's a, is it all Portuguese wine? All Portuguese wine. So it's a special Portuguese tasting. Mm. This looks serious. You've got three wine glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I'll pull them all out and I'll explain them. Thank you. So all Portuguese varieties, so you've got our Rinto to start off with, um, Tariga, the 2014 Tariga, so this one's an aged Tariga, so it's going to be quite rich on the part, so it goes really lovely with the raspberry notes and the dark chocolate fudge in there. And then you move on to our fortified tawny as well, and so that's going to be really lovely with the black forest notes, so chocolate ganache, you've got that jelly in there as well. It's gonna, Thank you. Um, I recommend have a little sip and coat your palate first of each wine. Then have a little taste of the chocolate again and have another sip of wine okay. and you'll yep. sort of get to experience the flavours coming out. So. Okay, excellent. Yeah, oh, no, sure. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. You. So we were told to have a sip of the wine and then have a bite of the chocolate and then have another sip and the taste was completely different. It was lovely. Got something for the cellar? Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yum. 2014, so it wasn't cheap. But it's a good one. Yeah. That's a good, we got to label that so we don't well, just drink it on a weeknight. It was worth them staying open till five, Definitely. wasn't it? <laughs> and us. And us, yes, and we us. enjoyed it That's too. a good wine. Yeah. We'll be back. We're oh. glad uh, that the others weren't open because that was amazing. Was. We did a wine and chocolate tasting and they specialise in Portuguese wines. Uh, so Whispering Brook, definitely a place to come. It was amazing and uh, we did happen to buy a very nice bottle of red wine that uh, we'll be cellaring and um, having on a special occasion. After all that wine, we needed some food in our bellies. A favourite of ours is Beaumay Restaurant at Benin Winery in Pacolban. We 
we've got pork belly to share. Because they do a lot of shared plates here. So they do lamb shared plates, chicken, duck shared plates. But the pork belly is something that we love and it's great for food, so we can have it too. So, and we've got a lovely, what's this salad? What do you chose the salad? Uh, fig, goat's cheese, pomegranate. Yeah, it looks yum. Okay. All right, well, let's, shall we get in? Yep. Okay. It's perfect thing to have after a, a day of wine tasting. Because <laughs> you need that in your stomach. Especially, I have to drive home. And I've only had tiny little sips. But Lydia's had slightly bigger sips. Uh, so we really need to fill our stomachs. Before we drive home. Well, that was a lovely meal. We really enjoyed that. Very yeah. tasty. Highly recommend. They have sharing plates and we had the pork sharing plate. It was very hard to decide because they had lamb and they have duck and they have pork and barramundi and all these beautiful plates and you can get as many other sides as you want with it. We just went for a salad on the side. It was really enjoyable. Very tasty. We're very tired. It's been a big day and uh, we hope yeah. you enjoyed coming with us today to the Hunter Valley and exploring. We will have more Hunter Valley um, videos in the future. And yep, if you enjoyed sure. this one, please hit like and subscribe below. And uh, we hope that you'll come roving with us again very soon. Bye-bye. But for now, goodbye. <laughs>